Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Amanda Ensing, and today we are gonna be doing a full face of first impressions. So today I just wanna sit down with you guys and try a bunch of new products. I love doing full face of first impressions. They're just so fun because I get to try new products with you guys real time on camera and I love it. And I have some really, really, really exciting new products. I don't even know what kind of look I'm gonna to do today. I have no idea. Let's just hop into it. I went ahead and primed my eyes off camera. I used the Eden Eye Primer Potion from Urban Decay. For my eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna be using this little baby today. This is a brand new latte palette from Dominique Cosmetics by Kristen Dominique. I love her so much, you guys. She is like the nicest person on the entire planet. This is her palette. I haven't even opened it yet. I got to see it at the event, but how beautiful is this? Kristen and I relate on so many levels, especially our love for coffee. Like she is just as obsessed with coffee as I am. So I love the whole like theme behind this palette. This is the outer sleeve. It's a rose gold color. And then the palette on the inside is white and rose gold. It is so beautiful. Congratulations, Kristen. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. Oh my gosh, the pans are huge, you guys. Look at how big these pans are. This is amazing. The palette comes with seven mattes and three shimmery shades. I don't even know what I wanna do today. Like I wanna play with color, but also the warm colors are just so beautiful. So let's start with caramel, which is this color right here for a transition color. So I'm gonna take caramel back and forth in the crease. And I'm using a LC Cosmetics E1 brush. Colors are really pigmented. This color is really calling my name. This is Cold Brew. It's like a matte bluish gray. I'm gonna take an LCE3 brush. I've never used these brushes, so these are also first impressions for me. I'm gonna dip into Cold Brew, which is the bluish gray color. So I'm gonna start on the outer corner of the eye. Super pigmented, wow. Now I'm gonna bring it on the outer V as well. I don't know if I'm crazy about this brush though. This brush is really stiff. Okay, let me try another brush. All right, I'm gonna go to a Morphe M433. I'm just packing the color on the outer corner and then dragging it inwards. It's so nice, this palette has a mirror in it. That's what I'm using right now. Now I'm gonna take some of Hazelnut, which is this color right here, and a little Laura Mercier fluffy brush. This is called the Ponytail Brush. <laughs> Super cute. So I'm just gonna go right above the blue shade. So I'm gonna go back to my eye primer and off camera, I'm just gonna carve out my crease um, so that way this part is super clean. I'm gonna go back to my crease brush and buff out this line, just pressing. I want this line clean and this one more diffused. So I'm just sweeping into the lid. So it's more of an airbrushed line. So now I'm gonna take this glitter liner. This is from Urban Decay. It's the Heavy Metal AC DC Liner. And I'm gonna line right on this inner part of my eye. I've never used this color before, but I have used the pink one and I really like them. They're just really easy to use. So pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with false lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. I have a full video dedicated to how I apply my false lashes, which I will link down below in the description box if you have not already seen it. So I ended up using the Lily Mykonos lashes. These are some of my favorites. I tried the, the Coco lashes, but they just didn't go with the look as much, so I ended up going with Mykonos. So let's start working on the face. I'm gonna try this new Bobbi Brown Extra. It's called Bear Glow Illuminating Moisture Balm. Oh, okay, fancy. Feels really good. It smells like their, their primer I use sometimes. Give a nice little glow to my skin. To prime, I'm gonna try this one from NARS. This is a Smooth and Protect NARS Primer. I don't think I've ever tried a NARS face primer. I feel like most of the pore filling primers all smell and feel the same. Look, they all remind me of Benefit Professional, but it does make my skin look really smooth. 
I'm not sure if I've tried this. I think I might have tried it one time, but I'm not sure. Like it didn't leave an impression, so I'm gonna try it again and see if I like it. This is in the shade 1.15. It's a 15 hour wear hydrating foundation. So I am just going to pump this on my beauty blender. The coverage seems pretty light. Let's see where I have redness. I think it's a light medium coverage because you can still kind of see some redness on my nose and I still see a lot of my skin peeking through. I like foundations to either smell like nothing or fresh. This just smells like paint to me. I'm just gonna try to build up in a few areas like right here where I had a few blemishes. It builds up nicely. It doesn't look too cakey when I add more. I think I've just been so used to wearing a fuller coverage foundation lately that it kind of like took me off guard, but it looks pretty nice. I'm gonna be trying two concealers today. The first one is the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer number two. I just like dug my finger into it by accident. So I'm gonna try this one first underneath of my eyes. I'm gonna take this little synthetic brush from Kat Von D and I'm just going to apply this on the inner part of my eye where I get darkness. It has a little bit of a salmon undertone so should help conceal darkness. And I'm just gonna go back to my beauty blender and blend it out. I've been wanting to try these little concealer pots forever. Wow, it looks really nice. It looks really nice, really natural. Like I could just leave it like this on a natural day. Where with my Becca one, it's a very salmon and very bright, so you have to layer concealer. But this looks really good, you guys. And it doesn't seem to be creasing. Okay. I'm also gonna try this new concealer from MAC. This is the MAC Studio Water Weight Concealer. I have the shade NC20. Now, this scares me because it's like a little water dropper, so it like looks super lightweight. I don't even know how I should apply this because it's a little dropper. I guess I could like literally just do this. I don't know what to do, you guys. I'm just gonna do it like that. We'll just do that. And I'm gonna blend out with my beauty blender. It's actually a lot of coverage to look so lightweight. It's actually a lot of coverage. I did not expect that. I'm just not a fan of the dropper. It's a lot of coverage, you guys. I can't get over that. Let's see if we can add some around my nose. I still have like a lot of redness right here and some right there. Like, do you see how that covered up all of my redness? Because the foundation didn't. And it's it's not creasing under my eyes. The formula is really grabbing my attention right now. Let's go ahead and set it. I'm gonna use my Cover FX translucent powder. All right, you guys, I think it started to crease a little bit. I knew it was too good to be true. I'm just gonna dust off the excess powder. I'm gonna be trying these new brow pencils from Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. I'm using the shade Dark Brunette. Hourglass packaging is everything. It's so luxe. I mean, it's definitely pricey. Y'all know Hourglass is expensive. I wouldn't expect anything less, but I'm gonna be trying this. So it has a spoolie and an angled brow pencil. I feel like this is just the new thing. Everyone's coming out with like the angled brow pencil. So I'm gonna brush through my brows first. I like the color. I'm so picky with my brow products, you guys. I like it. I feel like my brows look a little bit fuller than I intended because it is like a bigger pencil. It's hard to get really defined. This is $34. Do I think it's worth $34? I mean, I use Precisely My Brow a lot from Benefit, which is 24 and I feel like that's expensive, so this is $10 more. I like it. I just think that $34 is a lot of money. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try the brow gel as well. This is the Arch Brow Gel in the shade Dark Brunette, and this is a volumizing fiber brow gel. Has a little spoolie like this. I usually stick with clear brow gels. They do have a clear one, but I wanted to try the tinted one. Definitely added texture, I like it. Love the packaging. I just think $34 is a lot of money. Sorry. I'm gonna go back into the Latte palette and take Vanilla Cream, which is right here, 
And I'm just gonna highlight the brow bone. Oh, this shade is so pretty, it's so creamy. Like you can see a difference where I just went underneath the brow. Sometimes with like vanilla creamy shades, I feel like they don't do anything. But this looks so nice. They really highlight it underneath of the brow. I'm gonna take this MAC Chromographic Pencil in the shade NC15 NW20. I'm just gonna go in my waterline. It's just a nude shade. This just opens the waterline like you can see already and it makes your eyes look bigger. I'm gonna go back to Hazelnut from the Latte palette and buff this on the lower lash line. I'm then gonna go in with Caramel and a fluffy brush and bring the color lower. Last, I'm gonna take some Amoka, which is the matte brown, and I'm gonna take this angled brush and just go right against the lash line. Since I didn't use any of the shimmery colors in the palette, I do wanna swatch them for you guys. So I use these four and this blue, like this little L. Um, I do wanna swatch some of the shimmer colors because I didn't use them and they look so pretty. This is espresso. Oh my gosh, I'm totally doing a look with this. Macchiato, creme brulee. Oh my God. And then double shot is the purple. Look at how pigmented. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Creme brulee isn't swatching as pigmented, which is this one right here. It's more of like a satin. Oh my gosh, look at these two. Are you kidding me? They're so pretty. So pretty. I'm gonna go in with this MAC powder. This is their new Studio Waterweight Powder Press. This is in the shade Dark. This color is too dark for me to use as a face powder, so I'm gonna try it as a bronzer with this fluffy brush from Morphe and see how it looks. I like using face powders as bronzers because since they're meant to set the face, they usually have a lot of give when you use them and they look really natural on the skin. Like it looks so natural and not too harsh. They're less pigmented than bronzers in the best way. I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit, get the sides. For my blush, I'm gonna try these new Jouer blushes. This is in the color Adore Me and Hold Me. These are blush duos. They came out with, I think, three this color combo was my favorite out of the three. So I'm gonna try this one and I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm actually gonna dip into both colors. Oh, they're really pigmented. It's a lot more like rosy on my cheeks than in the pan. You can really see the flush. I'm gonna take a little bit on top of my nose as well. It is time to highlight. So now I'm gonna highlight. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne collab. Hey girl, I love Kristen. She's amazing. If you don't know her, go subscribe to her. She's so awesome. So this is her collab with Urban Decay and this is her Beauty Beam Highlight Palette. And I swatched these on Instagram stories, but I have not tried them on yet. So I think I'm gonna start with the lightest shade, which is the middle color. I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier fan brush Really pretty. Oh wow. You see that? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take some on my nose. I'm gonna take some right here as well. I always like to highlight right there. I'm also gonna highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I'm just using again the middle shade, which is the lightest color. I'm also gonna hit my brow bone. So pretty, Kristen. Oh, I love it. I went ahead and lined up my lips off camera. I used the Bite Lip Pencil in number 36. And now we're gonna go in with some lipstick. I'm gonna try one of the new ColourPop lipsticks. This is in the shade Appy, A-P-P-Y. The packaging is so freaking cute. 
there are little stars all in the lipstick. How cute is that? Really creamy. It slides on like butter. Holy crap. Wow. I just want to keep applying it. It feels so good. I'm gonna add this Laura Geller lip gloss right on top. This is the Color Luster Lip Gloss in Gilded Honey. To seal the look, I'm gonna try this new setting spray from CoverGirl. It's the CoverGirl Look Lockup All Day Setting Mist. Locks makeup into place, microfine mist prevents makeup from smudging or settling into fine lines. Let's smell it first. It smells really good. <sighs> it smells fresh. It's kind of like cucumbers. Oh, it feels nice. Okay. Just a little more, just in case. You can also smell the alcohol in it too. And I looked on the ingredients and it does contain alcohol, which I mean, a lot of makeup setting sprays do, but it feels really nice on the skin. Let's see how it works throughout the day. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did and to hit subscribe down below to join my A-team. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. I love the way that the look turned out with the glitter and the blue and everything and the glossy lip. I love it. Huge congratulations to Chris and Dominique on the launch of our Latte palette. I love the palette so far. Everything I use worked so good. And also congratulations to Kristen Leanne on her collab with Urban Decay. You guys are killing it. I love you both and I'm so proud of you. That wraps up the video. Thank you as always for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.